today in the news here for America, I want to let you all know that this was very disturbing. So I had to go ahead and do a video on this to uh, to inform my people, my subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe because this is how you stay updated with the latest news. All right. Now, when it comes to our health and for most of you all who've been following my channel, you know that I'm a, a health advocate like I really am deep into the health like we actually launched a company not too long ago actually a year ago uh that provides local homes here in in the atlanta area with alkaline water and so staying abreast on what's happening with our water systems uh lo and behold cbs does a uh, a new segment about the water in texas being contaminated and not only in Texas, but 170 million people are have been exposed to radium. All right. If you're not familiar with radium, I'm going to give you a brief description of a description of what it is so you can understand a little bit more about radium. But do understand the radium radiation. OK, just keep that in mind. All right, but the, the headline news was radium contamination in water most widespread in Texas, environmental group says. It says more than half of Americans could be drinking tap water tainted with a radioactive element. A new report from the nonprofit Environmental Working Group, EWG, finds more than 170 million people are exposed to radium in their drinking water that could increase the risk of cancer. Check it out. More than half of Americans could be drinking tap water that's tainted with a radioactive element. A new report from the nonprofit Environmental Working Group finds more than 170 million people are exposed to radium in their drinking water that could increase the risk of cancer. Anna Warner is in Brady, Texas, where some of the highest levels of radium in the country have been found. Anna, good morning. Well, good morning. So here in Brady, Texas, a lot of people are not turning on the tap. Instead, they're reaching for the bottled water. They don't trust what's in the city's water supply. When Dennis Taylor moved with his wife and two kids back to her hometown of Brady, Texas, he quickly found out many here don't drink the city water. I think I tried to drink out of the tap water and it was like, whoa, 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 no. We don't drink out of the tap water. But it was only recently that he learned that water has unacceptably high levels of a radioactive substance, radium, a contaminant that occurs naturally in the ground and winds up in aquifers. The city's radium levels violate the EPA's maximum allowable levels. The reason it's of concern? Radium is a known carcinogen. Alexis Temkin is a toxicologist with the nonprofit Environmental Working Group, or EWG. And it has been associated with increases in bone cancer. So exposure to radium levels, even low levels, may increase the risk of cancer development. EWG collected data from public water systems around the country and analyzed five years of tests. Radium was found in all 50 states, and the group found 158 public water systems in 27 states reported radium in amounts that exceeded the federal legal limit. The state with the most widespread contamination, EWG says, Texas, where more than 3,500 utilities serving more than 22 million people, about 80 percent of the state's population, reported finding radium. And in tiny Brady, with 5,500 residents, radium in some wells is nine times higher than where it should be. Mayor Tony Groves says the city faces a tough problem, how to get enough state grant funding to build a new water treatment plant. The population here can't foot that bill, can they? The, uh, the water treatment plant is going to cost in excess of $20 million. $20 million. We're going to fix the water. Uh, it's just how painful is it going to be for us to fix the water? Other communities may not be aware of their radium risk. That's why EWG built its own database where members of the public can do a simple zip code search to find out what contaminants are in their drinking water, something EWG's Alex Formusis says the EPA should have done. The EPA and the Safe Drinking Water Act specifically have 
largely failed the American people. The group isn't just critical of the EPA. It's also on the attack against a current Trump nominee from Texas up for a key environmental post. EWG alleges Kathleen Hartnett White's agency deliberately falsified data on public water system radiation levels at the time she headed the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality in the mid-2000s. Hartnett White had no comment. Senate Democrats are also opposing Hartnett White and produced this video. What, what, the specific question, please. Which Delaware Senator Tom Carper told us they've been showing to Senate Republicans to convince them to vote against her. We can do better. The president can do better than this. And they've nominated a number of other people that we thought were, uh, uh, were reasonably good. They've been confirmed. And do you think politically you have a reasonable chance of getting a, her stricken? You bet we do. You bet we do. Back in Brady, Dennis Taylor says he and his family won't be drinking the water for now. It's about making sure that you're putting the best stuff in you. And I believe we should be getting it from the tap, but that's not the reality today, hopefully in the future. Now we asked Hartnett White for her response to those criticisms, but we were told she isn't doing any interviews. Also, the EPA did not respond to our questions. They did not get back to us with their responses. Nora? Well, Anna, thank you. I think that's an important story. And now when people hear about it, they can, they can check, check their area code, check if they've got those radium levels there. Thank you, Anna. Now, you've watched the video. I'm going to place a link in the description area for you all to click that link. All right. I want you to go there. I want you to type in your uh, zip code and it's going to let you know what contaminants have been found in your area. OK, you're going to go there. You're going to find out what contaminants are in your water. Know what you are drinking. Once you find out what is in your water, you get on the phone and you call your local water company, your utilities company, whoever it is that you need to call to find out what are they doing about the contaminants in your water. Get on the phone and start calling. All right. I want you to share this video. Let everyone know your water is contaminated. They are killing people and you are not aware of it. Why is this news not on every channel? Why is this not headline news? All right. Make sure you share this video so everyone can know about it. Peace.